Hey guys, what's going on? It's Steven and welcome back to another Do It For Dale. We are going on to Dover after our last race, which I had confidence going into, but rivals said differently. So Kevin Harvick, remember, I'm coming for you. But first, let's look at our point standings. As you can see, we dropped to fifth as Tony Stewart has a 14-point lead over Ryan Newman, 100 over, 105 over Gordon and... 133 over us in the top five. Sixth is Junior. He's 179 back. Seventh is Marlon. That's where the big gap starts to go. Eighth is Labani. Ninth is Craven. And tenth is Bill Ellie. Well, we're back in the uh, black and silver racing machine. I don't know what I was going to try and call it there. We're back in our iconic number three paint scheme. Car felt great in practice. Uh... Now it's just the execution to the race. Here we come off for our first lap, and that is seventh. That was a 22 2. That was what I was running in practice. I could just keep the car on the bottom and not do this. Ooh, boy, this could be bad. Yep, seen that coming. Nope. Seventh. Six. Hey, that surprisingly got us a spot, man. We could have probably had to pull with that. Dang. Welcome to Delaware for the running of the MBNA Armed Forces Family 400 at Dover International Speedway. This is a tough track, both physically and mentally. What is it the drivers struggle with so much here, Barney? Oh, yeah, the Monster Mile. This one-mile oval may look easy, but boy, let me tell you, it's a lot harder than it looks. These big corners are absolute torture on the body, and fighting to keep your car off the walls requires total concentration from these drivers. Dale Earnhardt will begin the race in the top five in points. Oh, yeah, and all these guys in the top five are fighting hard week in and week out to gain as many points as possible. It's harder to pick up spots once you're into the top five. Dale Jarrett has had an amazing string of qualifying runs this year. Yeah, that team has made great strides in improving their qualifying setups, and it shows with all the top ten starts they've made. Ken Schrader really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. Well, there's always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine. Alrighty, um, just gonna let this all happen, play out, and hopefully not wreck the car going in the first turn exactly what I wanted to do there. Perfect. Let's go. Uh, let's, ooh, that car shot up really bad. Okay, so we'll get it back. Exactly. We'll get it back. It's just gonna take our time into this race, do the best we can, and, uh, not have a repeat of the last couple races, man. It, been awesome seeing all these paint schemes that have been coming out for the 500 i'm so excited uh i want to see the melon man ross chastain win or you know or 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 i found like a fucking steal there or 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 uh brad keselowski but just because again i've always wanted i've always liked the six car because of mark martin and Brad Keselowski is from my home state of Michigan. So it would be cool to see a Michigan Bull back in victory lane. Either way, I'm hoping it's a good race this year. I mean, it almost always is. But I'm sh I'm seeing that they're probably going to be running it on a Monday. Because there's so much rain coming. Which is uh, fortunate, unfortunate. The last time, I think. I think the last time they ran it on a Monday... Some dude crashed into the de the jet dryer, Montoya. I can't get this car to stick on the bottom at all. So that's what uh, we're going to be adjusting here when we come into the pit. Because, like, see what I mean? 
I'm trying to get down, but I can't. They're just right training the fuck out of me. All right, well, we got to the bottom now. After all those shenanigans. Wow, I thought I was going to hit Ricky there off the turn. Finally got up to 14th. Like I said, one. One spot at a time. One driver at a time. Goals at least the top 10 here. We need it. We need to have a good, a decent points day. I'm sure Tony Stewart's up in the front of the pack. Leading, running the race of his life and trying to pull away on the point standings, but uh, hopefully we can, after we make the car, just, uh, I think I'm just going to make it a scotch looser just because of how it's running and uh, hopefully get back up there to not do that. Exactly, do that. Overdrove it into the damn corner yet again. Yeah, this car is too fucking tight. But, in all reality, we're really not that far behind. Dale Earnhardt didn't win every race in the season. We're not going to either. Okay, but we are going to have an amazing run on Mark. Sorry, Daddy. What a Mark? Dude. They just like to do that shit, I swear. Like, I thought I had him clear. Whatever, I got 13th. Mark's pissed. What the fuck? Why am I just overdriving the fuck out of this car? As I say, he wasn't gonna hate us till now. God, this car's so fucking tight. Somebody change it during fucking practice? Like, goddamn. Alright, a lot of cars are in pit road as we speak. I'm gonna come on down in the next couple laps here. Probably next time by. This time by, I'm not sure yet. I'm finally getting the groove on this car, and I'm actually kind of liking it. I think I'm still going to make it just a little looser. And I think we'll pit next time by halfway mark. This one's half over. Just keep charging Hope that something three. stupid happens before we go into the pit road. We got some cars leaving pit road ahead. Or we see Kevin Harvick. Because if I see Kevin Harvick, I'm going to dump his ass. Like, I'm not joking when I say that. Gas tank's almost dry. Well, here we come. Hopefully... Alright, there we go. Wow, this car's already... So we're gonna bring it there. Gotta fix some damage and hope that we can get back up there. Car's been great to this point, other than a few mistakes here and there, but it's glad to see the iconic colors back on the car. Alright, crew, don't mess us up on the stop either because we need a good... We need a good finishing position, good points day. Let's go. Okay. 18. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You're right. You're going to have to slow the hell down. We are going to try and see what we're going to gain. Ooh, that was, that was close to being... On Ricky Rudd's booty. We're in 13th. One lap at a time, right? So I keep telling myself, one lap at a time. Stop hitting the apron. They got the St. NASCAR Thunder 2000, whatever. Or NASCAR Chase for the Cup. We'd be spinning out like a motherfucker. All right. Time to stop talking and start concentrating. And have us a decent points day. Try to get up there into the top ten. 
I just realized I got the Burton brothers right in front of me. Jeff and Ward. Alright, sorry Ward. I had to do that because you were just right fucking in the way. Now you're going to hit me in this turn. Oh. Fuck me. Because. Why the fuck not, right? Really, Mark? Well, they're in that top five, top ten. No, we won't. Because we can't get anything past a fucking top fifteen. Elliot, what the fuck you breaking for, dude? Hey, yeah, Stanley, it's Adler for 14th. He's looking to settle the score. Right rear's getting more. Keep an eye out. Who knows? Maybe we could get past some of these guys and get a top 10. That's the ultimate goal, but either way, we're losing points again because either a stupid mistake on me or some rivals got to fucking hit us into a wall. It's just frustrating. It's frustrating. I hope you guys are enjoying this stuff because. It's, it's, it's so hard to not just rage quit sometimes like that. Like, where the fuck did he come from? I didn't slow up that much. He, you know what I mean? No, we're not going to get him, so shut the hell up, man. Were you? That's the race right there. Race is over. I think that's the race. I don't think we're going to have enough time to get up there. If we do, we're going to fucking send it. Fucking debris. Let's see whose it is. Is it mine? Is it mine? Who knows? No, it's Ricky Cravens. Okay. Well, whatever. No. Oh my god, we're actually gonna have like a one lap shootout, aren't we? Yep. Let's go. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck this car. Fuck this game. Appreciate you guys. I'm done. I'll give you an update on the standings later. We usually have more cautions than that, don't we? Well, that was good news to the guys who ran out front. Ooh. More cautions would just have meant more restarts, which is more chances for you to lose.